All right, we are here on day three of the Duluth Regional with Concordia Chicago head coach Mike Stosky and uh, Brady Roberts. Coach, do you want to just start off talking about uh, your team's performance today? Really close game all the way to the end. Yeah, I mean, it was a, it's, a, it's only a tough loss because of the result of the loss. The, the way we played, the way we came to the park, the preparation, um, everything else was great. You know, it's just when you look at the scoreboard, we were lost. So I tried to tell my guys that this is only can come in the fact that we didn't win, but not anything um, through those nine games. I thought we gave it all, and um, you know, so it's 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 only disappointing because we didn't win the game. But you know, hats off to our team because the effort that they put out for nine full innings is what we always ask them to do, and they did it. Brady, what are some things you think your team did well today that you can take into tonight's game? Um, I thought the guys really swung it well, especially when they got into counts that they should have. Um, you know, we were hitting you know fastballs and fastball counts, and even on the breaking balls, we were staying back and we were you know. See at the end, they're driving it the other way and doing what we need to do with it. So if we keep that momentum and hitting the ball hard, I think we'll be okay. Coach is a little different than last year going into you know having a loss and having to come back tonight. What are what do you think your team does well and how they're prepared for that? Sure, um, our team expects to win. You know, so you know the one thing I have to do is to pull them back from looking ahead because they're going into the night expecting to win tonight's game, and then you can start talking about what has to happen tomorrow. We just got to take it one inning at a time. So you know, our guys, um, I think you know, I've been told by this, and I keep telling our guys, it takes nine innings to beat us. Um, so there's gonna be there's gonna be two really good teams playing now. Um, they're gonna have to play a full nine to beat each other, and they're gonna have to play a full nine against us. So I like our chances, but you know, we're gonna just stay to what we do. We can't. I feel like the moment's too big since an elimination game, we just have to stay in the moment, I think we'll be just fine. Pretty, what advantages do you think your team has in that this is only your your first loss, these other teams, you know, are gonna have to have been playing multiple elimination games at this point. I think it's just the fact that we've been here before. I mean, mm -hmm. we've been to, you know, our senior class has been the original so fourth year here mm -hmm. and we've been in this situation many times before. And you know, I think just the fact that we're kinda of sick and tired of just, you know, getting to this spot and just coming up short. I mean our last round, we might as well go out with a bang. Great. Do you think there's any kind of an advantage that you had to face this scenario last weekend and you won four straight before the final uh, came to an end there? Absolutely. You know, I mean, we've done this before. So, you know, like last year we walked through the regional. Uh, this year, uh, you know, then we went to the regional, we walked through the regional. So we faced elimination games. We faced four elimination games and went three and one. So, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where we are, we're, we're in good shape in the fact that we know we can win this thing and it's not going to, you know, it's going to take a full team effort to get in this position, so. Thanks, guys, and good luck tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it.